All right, so this is my 1997, hello everybody. Uh, this is my 1997 HP Palm Top PC. This is the Hewlett Packard, more commonly known as HP 320LX, made in 1997, sporting a 1 gigahertz Hitachi SH3 processor, 4 megabytes of RAM, and running on Windows CE 1.0, which was like the palm top operating system equivalent of Windows 95. This little device was mainly used by big companies or people who needed to travel pretty much 24-7 and needed that information at their fingertips. Oftentimes you would have people faxing in other, you know, documents with this thing, and we're about to do something similar to that. Let's get into it. Now, sometimes when you start up, it'll have a little jingle, but that's like when it's coming up on from dead. Actually, can you? Yeah, you can always suspend it. You can't really shut it down, but it has a monochrome, monochrome screen, and this is just about all you can see because it's glary as I'll get out. Now, chances are you will be seeing me throughout the duration of this video, just kind of, yeah. But there's not a whole lot I can do about that. My goal right now is to get it connected to a BBS. You see, it does have, uh, where is it? Oop, yeah, it's a touch screen, but that's like broken. Uh, we do have Microsoft Windows CE. Um, that should be, is it broken or is it just stubborn? Yeah, no, she don't work. Um, yeah, let's see if we can get this thing connected to the internet. First thing we're gonna to need to do is put in the modem card, the credit card modem. It's, well, it's a credit card modem. There's not really a whole lot of other ways to say it, but this can actually be used in a lot of different kinds of computers, um, mainly laptops at the time, but I believe you could probably put this in something a little newer and bigger. Let's just slide that in there. There we go. Oop. Yep. You want to? Yes, I do. Now, when it was asking me about that, this did come with a uh, charger. And I do have the charger, but I don't like using the charger because I have something else that's a little bit better. Let's put the thing back because I have the dock for it. Now, it doesn't really do a whole lot other than, hey, look, I have a dock for it. But let's put that on there real quick. Yep. And then plug her in. Hey, Shuggy. All right. Now it should be going off the bat that power instead of the battery power, which will also make the batteries last a lot longer. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and retain set up. Let's plug this in. This this core goes into the other side of the credit card modem. We'll just flip that around here. Ah. Okay, so one thing that's kind of flawed, um, you can't really do anything, like you have to, it, mm, not the best design, let's just keep it at that, it's not really the best design, anyways, uh, so we'll get this, we'll plug it in to our phone jack, and I did leave the other phone cord, but when I do my next video, oh. alright, that's a little broken, but whatever, now the problem with doing that is that you don't really know if it's going to work or if it's going to work because it's so loose. Um, just hope it does. Down the contrast for y'all. Let's uh, let's connect to a BBS. Just look under. No, yeah, programs. Communications. Actually, let's go to accessories to see if that has it. Uh, it does not. It has a calculator, a welcome screen, and a world clock. I'm not going into these two because it took me about 20 minutes to actually get into the PC because once the CMOS battery dies, you have to do everything over again, which is normally fine, but it's mainly reliant on the screen in those menus. So not really a whole lot you can do about that at that point, except for pray that it actually works. Um, let's go alt, close. 
here. I will say you can also see it a lot better on this on your screen than I can on mine. Microsoft Pocket Internet Explorer. That does not work, sadly. Or does it? Let's see. Uh, let's go to file. See if I can prop you up just a little bit. There we go. That looks a little bit better. Kind of. Good enough. All right. Uh, let's go to edit. View. Options. Auto dial. There we go. Let's uh, get rid of auto dial, why don't we? There we go. Appearance. Whatever. I like appearance. Auto dial. Ah. Okay. So I'm going to see. I'm going to see if we can use auto dial. So it should be dialing. If I go into here, let's go to advanced or proxy server. No, let's go to advanced. Uh, oh, that doesn't work. Oh. Uh, Oh. Although the, the keyboard's surprisingly good on here. Like, you can type relatively fast. You know, you're not, like, typing in like that, which is nice. Um, so let's see if we can go into Google from this. I doubt we can because of its format, but... Alt. Oh. There we go. All right, open... the HTTP. Nope. Hmm. I'll have to make a separate video on this, but I know that the BBS, or yeah, the terminal section on this one works, so we'll just close this and we'll go to terminal. And I've already made a session going into uh, level 29, so let's uh, try to dial into level 29. And there, are, sadly, are no sounds. I wish there was. That'd be really cool. I'm pretty sure there are, like I said, there are ways to get sounds from here. Um, actually, it might be... No, okay, whatever. Um, yeah, we'll just. If you have any BBSs you would like for me to access from this, uh, feel free to put it down in the comments. But this usually does take a minute, so I'm just gonna let it go until it comes up. So, yeah. Nah, that's fine. Cause it has T one. I'm not necessarily sure what the T means. I'll have to figure that out. But you know what? If it still works, then I do not care. Uh, one thing I do wish is that we could actually hear what was happening. Um, but yeah, for the most part, this is pretty much it. A lot of waiting. Oh, here we go. Level 29. Put visitor. And then, yeah, this is a 40 by 16 screen, which is insane. I don't even know how it's able to go, but whatever. There we go. And it has successfully logged into the BBS, level 29. If you have anything else you want me to go into, like uh, any sort of BBS, or even if you want me to try to download anything on here, uh, let me know. I will have you know that I've already tried to do Doom, Quake, and Wolfenstein, 
they do not work because number one, the screen is so small and I'm surprised that the processor even does what it does. So yeah, that's interesting. But yeah, anything else, let me know. I'll even show out some more, more business programs if y'all are into that. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you all next time.